Hello. Hello there, everyone. This is the second... I mean, this is my second session of playing this campaign. So that'll be like, that'll be episode or part eight. I'll be starting from part eight with this session. And slowly getting back into the groove over here, trying to get up to speed on what was going on. Just trying to get up to speed on what was going on in this campaign over here. Uh, so we're currently at war with the Ikoeki that are pretty stretched out pretty wide. We defeated an army earlier, but they're still at large, mighty, moderate, I'm rated strong. Oda is rated strong. And I have the Oda, the Oda Hattori Alliance looking a bit threatening. But I can go to war with them with zero repercussions right now. Um, they do have the Hattori as an ally, but I'm not sure if the Hattori are busy dealing with someone else there in uh, central Japan or western Japan. I uh, think I'll go expand along the Oda territories over here because they're pretty rich and easy to defend. Like it's a natural choke point if I get to Owari. So, I'm probably going to have to take uh, Nobushige. Or perhaps my heir, but I might end the campaign before, like, Shingen even dies. I'm not sure what to do with Shingen specifically. I need... I need an actual scout over here. Like, I'm going to use my Monk and see if I can incite a revolt there in Ichigo. And then on this side... On this side, I can get a unit... I'm going to get a unit of Fire Cavalry to... bolster this army. But other than that, I'm going to go on an offensive against the Oda over here. Gotta, gotta make a pretty... Uh, I might instead go for Bushido. Because it it might look it might look a bit lame, but it, it seems to like I'm not sure what the exact like effects of it are in research, but it seems to actually speed up research quite a bit. And it scales pretty well the more castles you take because it adds to your research speed. So yeah, let's head out on the offensive. Declare war. Uh, Satomi refused to join, but they're still my allies. I don't really care. Though I do have to be wary about the Satake clan. I would go... I would expand eastwards if it wasn't for the Satomi that are just going to split my realm in two. So, yeah, I think that's the end of this turn. Uh, let's... I'm going to produce two fire cavalry. Or no, this army already has fire cavalry, okay. So that's just one fire cavalry and another light cavalry. Gonna add it to Nobushige's army. We have the Oda coming in to destroy my vassal, and I'm I'm honestly okay. I'm okay with them uh getting rid of my vassal because I already got the honor bonus. The honor bonus is permanent, so I'm actually quite fine if they let go of my vassal and I get to take over take over the territory directly so i'm gonna have to place shingen in a more um the way this works is so the there's an equal army hiding somewhere over here the way this works is i'm gonna be i mean this guy out bring shingen in and then yeah block this area i think i'm within range maybe to reinforce So I'm going to place the cavalry over here so that they can both they can either reinforce Shingen or the fort depending on which one gets attacked. Just a bit of micromanagement on my units. 13%, okay. Yeah, okay, so they have another whole stack over here. Lots of lone swords that could be tough to deal with. And this section of Oda territory seems to be... Oh no! Spoke too soon. They, they have another half stack coming in. 
I'm gonna lay siege to this. Hope they attack in this same turn. Gotta hope, gotta hope they attack in the same turn, and not wait for this. Re the Daimyo himself, rank three general. He might be able to reach here in the same turn. I might, I might have to pull off a retreat. I might have to go with the old retreat route. Get some more Yariashigaru out. I'm soon. I would prefer to recruit the Yariashigaru with some. Uh, melee attack bonuses, but that's two turns away. That's too much of a wait. It's still looking pretty dicey. This could go either way, honestly. This, we're not out of the woods. We did pretty well in the early game, and they're abandoning. Alright, so they, they chose to abandon. No, I don't care. Metsuke increases in rank. Wait, which... Iko Eki. Okay, so he wants me to... Capture any province belonging to them. I would go for Hida. That's a pretty... This is a pretty big bonus over here. Plus 50 diplomatic relations and a free Katana Samurai. But... I'm gonna get ambushed if I do that. You know what? How long... How long does this... Seasons remaining nine, I'll do it. I will do it. Totally totes totes which willing to do it. Wait, did that where did that Where did that army disappear to? Oh this is actually kind of stressful. I could definitely I think I could still defeat the combined force, but did they did they disappear into the tree line? I have no idea where they went. I have I have seriously I have no idea where they went off to. I'll merge the light cavalry. Get these units outside. Uh fire cavalry. Oh look. Okay, so yeah, I can I can win that fight even if they combine both their forces. I have two Metsukes increasing in rank. Gladly. Yeah. Increased repression. Another Metsuke over here. Uh Alright. Yeah, I don't think there's anything worth upgrading to right now. So very interesting, Yari Ashigaru with increased charge bonus. Oh, and I'm actually am I losing money right now on normal taxes? Yeah, that's bad. I need to actually I need to expand. I lost both my vassals as well. Okay, so they decided to sally forth. I'm gonna have to do this manually. All right, so they're gonna be attacking us. They have two units of Boashigaru. Always fixating on the bows, I am. Oh yeah, that's that's the one I'm that's the one I'm taking advantage of. That is definitely the one I'm taking advantage of. Hmm. Where or oh, where to place these katanas? Oh, there's hidden. Okay, hidden, hidden. That's great. I also want to hide all of the cavalry units somewhere. Okay, and then this is the main force over here that we there were that we are gonna bait them into. So both these generals and the katanas, I'm gonna put them in a group. Now I just have to hope that the katanas don't get discovered by their army. Let's go. I'm going to keep everything over here out in the open as bait. I don't want to hide the Ariashigaru, otherwise who knows where they'll head off to. Uh, I don't think they have any cavalry aside from the general, or they don't have any cavalry at all, yeah. That's that's another advantage over here. I don't have to worry about my katanas getting run down. Got samurai retainers, some Yari samurai. The Boashigaru are going to wear me down. They're, the, they're the, going to be the only source of casualties. Yara Samurai just super easy to deal with in this scenario. Not going to cost me anything. 
I would have liked to have some charge bonus on these Yara Eshigar in this scenario. In this scenario where we have to close the final distance, I would prefer that. And I really wonder, you know, something I really wonder, does giving a running attack order in the Yari Wall still give them the charge bonus? That would be pretty significant. Okay, this is this is when we start advancing. They're gonna come. Yeah, they're gonna come over here. They're gonna start coming, advancing up the hill. That's the whole point. I just want to make them close the final distance. Come on, run up, run up the hill, run up the hill. Taking some fire arrows. But since we're not in the Yari Wall, we're not gonna take that much damage, and the trees are gonna blunt it even further. And they're just gonna sit there because they have archer. They have an. They have. Oh no no! OBS, don't do this on me. Okay, OBS gave me a pretty uh, heart-stopping stutter over there. I'm gonna have to uh, give them the advance attack order over here. Come on. Okay okay. So here here goes. Oh wait! Ah, I forgot about the. I forgot about. I forgot about the reinforcing fire cavalry. Oh OBS, don't do that on me. Don't do that on me. Don't me don't don't me don't do me dirty, OBS. Alright, we have this. Get out, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. This charge. So we're gonna be we're busy kiting. We're busy kiting. Oh man, OBS is causing some serious stutters today. What is up with you? Okay, surprisingly, they didn't break. Yeah, they didn't break. Come on, I want these units to shatter over here. Okay, there we go. That's the, that's the army losses. So we took some aggro on that that solitary Yari Ashigaru. Unfortunate. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I wonder why it's giving me a lot more structures this time. It was only like there were only like a handful in the last session. I'm not running anything aside from this game. Oh, we did not get the settlement, and that means we're gonna suffer with inter attrition. So there's two negatives. I don't get. At least. At least the Satomi seem to be a, a, like a decent ally. Like a, a good ally in this game is one that just doesn't, doesn't backstab you like the bare minimum. You have to expect the bare minimum from them. So this is going to be our settlement now. Uh, always will be. And I need to build another market in here. This is going to be my main Metsuke recruitment hub. Gonna churn out. I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for fresh rank three Metsuke. I think that's better. The only the only time you wanna go for increased research is if you're going all the way for like gunpowder mastery down here. Yeah, we got ambushed. Oh wow. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I can do this. I didn't expect, I didn't expect their army to be that big. I thought it was just like a half stack. But these archers, these Boronin, they have upgraded accuracy as well. That's going to be an issue. Although thankfully they don't have good melee infantry. They have, they have equal Yari Ashigar, which are pretty decent, but I have Katanas. I have, I have, I'm going to take a morale debuff from being ambushed, but at the same time, you know, you can tell, and I, oh, I know. Oh, wait, they actually show you the deployment. Yeah, I forgot. They show you the deployment before, so I'm going to have to uh, go Hail Mary in that direction. Just ignore this whole section of the army. I'm just going to have to go micromanage all this crap over here, get, get around Get around, get Shingen and the cavalry around behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the Yari Samurai, Yari Samurai are just going to be guarding. Just guard, 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 guard. Yari Samurai, okay, great. 
Yar Samurai, that was great. Get a Yari wall going and I, I I can't see. I just it's just the fog over here. I literally cannot see anything. It's the fog. I can't see. We got some light cavalry. We're getting we already got their general. Okay, they, they decide weirdly, I didn't expect them to charge their general in like that in that manner. Uh we have Yari Ashigar that just caught my cavalry and I need to pull out right now. Yeah, I need to I need to get this general first. What's his name? Shimozuma this or Jusurai or whoever this uh, this new guy is. Yeah, we're going to take heavy losses. We we are we are going to we are out here taking heavy losses right now. Shingen is is not doing Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. Yo Shingen do your thing. Uh this Yari Samurai is doing well. Katana Samurai are getting picked off by archers. I think Boashigaru just being meat shields, I guess. Oh wait, is that the army losses modifier? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull I'm gonna have to pull Shingen back and then get the standard fight going. We got rid of their cavalry. We have we defeated this element of the army. Okay, we defeated that element of the army entirely. I'm gonna have to. Okay, that's that's the morale debuff. Okay, we got hidden flanks over there. Just go out. Ah, the hunter has been hunted. So even with that, that advantage, they lost. I took some significant losses, but I think I can recover. I don't have any immediate threats, hopefully, in the next turn. And that's the army loss modifier coming in. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I need to I need to get to work over here. This is this is a lot that needs to be wiped out right now. Uh fire cavalry are re looking really good. Fire cavalry are looking really good. I just wish I didn't have this fog. I think the fog hurt me more than the fact that I was in ambush. Like I just I think I hate the whole visibility tax that I can't even see anything. Yes, I think that's like the first time I ever won an ambush in this game. Like I was being ambushed and I managed to win that. Close victory. I mean, considering the circumstances, maybe it's heroic getting out of that scenario. Yeah, look at they they lost about like, I'm going to remove the cavalry from this force. Just to preserve them. Go for a, a night attack. I'm going to make a vassal again. 